Hey guys, <clears throat> I just watched a video, I think it was last night, and it was talking about um, tires for the Tesla truck. And I've been driving a electric vehicle for like five or six years, and the only time that uh, EV seems to fail like a normal vehicle is like a flat tire. Um, haven't really had any issues besides having a flat tire. And so I was thinking <clears throat> if you buy a new vehicle, my mom bought a Tesla, uh, it was like two years ago. And the only ever problem we've had is having a flat tire, especially when you're out of town. It really is a burden. It's just something that most, even the newer gas vehicles, a lot of them don't have a spare. So you're kind of stuck. Um, even if you have a patch kit or uh, an air pump sometimes you can't always repair your tires and sometimes you can't always have run flats because they're so expensive and I don't think they offer them for all vehicles <clears throat> and then you're limited like to 50 miles so you're still you know having to go to a tire shop if you're out of town so I just heard actually I was I was um I'm in the tree service business and I've noticed that some of uh, the equipment like for skid steers and also some of the tractors long, riding uh, zero turn mowers have airless tires and I've even seen <clears throat> some of the uh, you know research on airless tires so they they do have them out there and I was wondering if uh, if possible if you have a cyber truck like the only thing you could ever improve on that I could imagine would be if it would float and go on water and if you could somehow put tires on it <clears throat> that would either self inflate or not have air but you know trying to get this idea across is like almost impossible well I didn't have to I guess uh, it's already been thought about in the Tesla truck supposedly is going to come out with one of the first uh, versions of a retail truck with airless tires and what's cool about it if this is really true i don't know if you guys can do some research and find out but the new tires are going to be made from made by goodyear and they're saying that these tires can last 10 times longer than the average tire average tires can last up to 30,000 miles so Multiply that by 10, they can last, they say, up to 300,000 miles. And you basically don't have to worry about, you know, changing air pressure because there's no air in them. They, and they're supposed to actually be a more comfortable ride. Um, just all around, I mean, there's, it's just an all around better tire. Um, they are a little bit more expensive. They're a little over 300 bucks a piece. And then I'm sure you're going to have to have a special rim the whole rim and everything is going to be different but if you can you know if, as long as they're not 10 times more expensive you're going to save money of course then too you would probably want to get locking hubs because <laughs> if someone sees these tires and they never go flat and the rims the rim and tires are probably going to be you know someone will probably steal them so if there's a way to lock the hubs in um, that would probably be a good idea and also too they could uh, they're gonna try to use these I guess they would be really good for Mars because you know first of all electric vehicle a cyber truck would be great and then if you didn't have to uh, you know because there's no way <clears throat> they're saying there's such a huge temperature change between night and day that uh, the tires would either implode or explode so Anyway, but if they start carrying these for uh, other vehicles, um, also too, it'd be great for the taxis because the taxis are going to be running like almost 24-7. And if you have a flat tire, of course, the car can't change its own tire. So um, if you had a type of tire that basically never needs inflated, never gets a flat, your taxi service tesla taxi or anybody really would be would have far less breakdown especially an ev because that's going to be one of your biggest issues is being able to um, continue to move 
and flat tires are probably going to be one of the only things that can really stop an EV. So anyway, I'm just excited. Um, I don't know if it's going to matter because the prices uh, on everything have gone sky high. The stock has done not so well this year. So hopefully this year, if they continue to produce uh, or start to produce the Teslas, um, hopefully uh, I'll be in the position to take advantage of my place in line because everything over the, since I've ordered it in the last three years, stock has went down um, and the prices have went up. So it's not looking good <clears throat> unless I want to take a loan out. So anyway, I just wanted to uh, mention that to you guys and see what you guys thought. If it's, if, if it's a hoax or if it's real, this information is just BS or if it's if it is if it is real it's going to be the one of the best um, things they've done to improve the Cybertruck so anyway this is Roger with uh, Roger's reviews and just reaching out to see what you guys think of this new information and to clarify it and get to the bottom of it and see if it's real or not see you on the next one